Hello, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna do a spiritual practice together and it is a meditative way of reading scripture. And so what we're gonna do is we're going, the process is pretty simple. We're going to read a passage of scripture very slowly and we're gonna read it three times and we're gonna pause in between each time to reflect and to think deeply about each word, each phrase, each um, thing in the passage and just see what God might have to say to us it's a way of listening with our heart um, and trying to move beyond listening for information or listening for the things that we maybe are used to listening to in a passage. And so the passage we're going to be reading today is in Luke 10. And we are going to be reading a very familiar passage to a lot of a lot of us. Um, it is the parable of the Good Samaritan. We're going to read a little bit at the beginning and then we'll get into the parable. And I'm going to read it through three times and I'll pause in between each time. Um, and you can pause the video and spend two to three minutes reflecting on the question or thought that I um, have have for you to reflect on. And then um, when you're done, you can hit play again and listen to the next part. I'm going to encourage you to close your eyes while I'm reading and just really listen and uh, rather than follow along in your own Bible. So I'm going to be reading out of the New Living Translation. So I'm going to pray and then we'll get started. Oh God, we ask that you'll just meet us here in these moments as we open your word together. I pray that you'll speak to our hearts. Holy Spirit, reveal to us um, whatever it is that you have for us today, I pray that we will hear you well and clearly, God. We love you and we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. So this first time as I'm reading, I want you to listen and try to put yourself in this story and use all of your senses to really and truly notice what's happening. So note, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? What do you smell? Just Put yourself in this story and see what you notice. What jumps out at you? So Luke 10, 25 through 37. One day, an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, what does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus told him. Do this, and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along. But when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same.
So go ahead and pause the video here and take two or three minutes and just really reflect on what you noticed. What stood out to you? What did you notice by using your senses and placing yourself in this story? Now I'm going to read the passage again, and this time as I'm reading, I want you to think about what word or phrase stirs your heart or really just grabs your attention. And just think about that as I read. One day, an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and Love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus told him. Do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, The one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, Yes, now go and do the same. So you can go ahead and pause the video again here and spend another two or three minutes just reflecting on what word or phrase stood out to you. You might even consider jotting it down or writing down any other thoughts you have about it at this point. So I'm going to read this passage one more time, and this time as I read, I want you to reflect and ponder what God might be saying to you through this passage today. One day, 
an expert in religious law, stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus told him, do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along. But when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. So go ahead and pause the video one more time and spend two or three minutes reflecting on what God might be saying to you through this passage today. So after doing a spiritual practice like this, um, it's very helpful to write down what you heard God say, what stood out to you, what thoughts you had as you read and as you heard this passage read. And if you're doing this in a group or with other people, um, it's helpful to discuss, discuss what you heard, discuss what stood out to you, discuss what God said to you, maybe what you felt. Um, but Either way, whether you are doing this privately and writing it down or you're doing this in a group, I encourage you to really process what you experienced today. Let me close our time together in prayer. God, we thank you for speaking to us. We thank you for um, your word. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his love. I pray that what we have heard and experienced today will just continue with us throughout the throughout today and throughout this week. We love you and we pray all of this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.